I'm from Montreal, Canada. I'm really happy to be here at Bemis. I'm a painter and I am exploring paint to its full potential. I think the last couple of years what's been interesting is to really sort of renegotiate what painting is in my practice. So starting from the sort of simple work on canvas and then finding ways to transform that. Whether that be actually taking the canvases and folding them into objects or using the paint as material itself to build objects, both of those are at interplay right now. I'm interested in that place of objectness and thinginess, so having a relationship with the objects that I'm creating and remembering that they have this evolution from the paint and the paint material into their new identity. So if that's an exploration of sculpture, then I can call myself a sculptor. I like the word painter. I like that field of expanded painting and really trying to add elasticity in and around that. I think here at Bemis, it begins with this stunning live work space that I've been granted and imagining how there could be an interplay with the works that I'm making here in relation to the space itself. So whether that means using sort of nails that are already in the space or relating to all the light, this sort of imagined domesticity that is like this loft dream, I really want to sort of engage with the space and then engage the objects that I'm making into the space. There seem to be a lot, a lot of sort of artist makers that are directly on the same floor where I am. And so the conversations have become quite real and real fast. So sort of this discussion of the place of materiality and material making has really been sort of prominent across the third floor at Bemis. So discussions are sort of at a place where we're trying to push each other because there's a potential to explore in the space, in the studio facilities that maybe in another context or in our own home studios, we wouldn't have. So for sure, I've kind of fallen in love with my artist peers because they're pushing me to go further in the exploration of what I'm doing. There's been a place of void and absences and sort of shaping things in a new way and talking with sculptors and, and again, just adding to this extended language just to keep it going. It's been um, really exciting and it's going to be hard to miss. Definitely one thing that I've noticed and observed in and around Omaha are the construction sites. I made a point to mention to one of the curators the other day that it reminded me of my residency in Paris and she loved it because she's like, no one has ever described Omaha as Paris. <laughs> but it's that thing that, that materials speak to me. So this exploration of concrete and articulations and shocks of color are really sort of coming into this place. So there's been moments in the studio where I'm just engaged in arrangement. So sort of taking from what I'm seeing on the street and trying to find a way to translate that in practice. So there are sort of like moments of celebratory chaos, I guess, where the little bits of leftover paint find a new life in, in and around concrete brokenness. And I think it's that place again where Things can be broken, but they can be tended to and find a resurrection and a new way to be. I think that part of the joy that I have in my practice is the necessity to control the space and control the objects in the space. And maybe that comes from a place of my own personal need to sort of organize and organize away from traumatic events, a separation of home, a separation from anxiety, but bring sort of happiness and joy and pleasure, the sort of politics of pleasure into the practice and then infuse the objects into space and have a conversation with them. Like make sure that they're also correct in the space, that they feel secure as this new sort of thing that has come into the world.
makes me happy.